Welcome back everybody, it's Ty with another video for you. And what you're looking at here is the vibration assembly from my Super Hang-On. <clears throat> um, when I got it, it didn't work. I didn't even realize that it had it. Um, I probably should have remembered that, but it's not something I remembered at the time. So, uh, someone else pointed out, to, or asked me if mine worked, and, uh, and I was like, uh, probably not, because I didn't notice it ever. So anyways, um, the problem with this is that the actual motor disintegrated inside the uh, casing. Um, Here's all these, all these little bits here. Um, I'm not even sure what these these things are. I think they're probably like look almost like a capacitor, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they look like just capacitors. They just like explode. I don't know what they are. Yeah, so yeah, they look like a capacitor. If I look at it at this one here, Let's see, pull it apart. Oh, that explains the paper. Yeah, these are caps. Let's see if you see right here. Here's one here that just literally exploded. See this right? Get the distance right. See all that wadding there? That's the inside of the capacitor. Right here. See that wadding? And there's the the legs of the capacitor right there. So yeah, so the caps inside this thing exploded. I don't know if that's what made the motor finally go bad. Um, but the caps were actually inside the uh, the uh, windings. You can see one is still in there. Um, in the right up there, there, there's one. There was supposed to be one there and one there, but those uh, exploded. Plus the um, brushing actually fell apart too inside this. Um, there's the one of the brushes. Um, I suppose this motor could be rebuilt. Um, really don't want to spend my time on that though, um, because. Who's to say it's actually going to work right, you know? Um, and I don't even know what these caps... Well, this one might say it on it. Let's see here. Well, it says it's 58 degrees. But the whole... The, the coating on the outside is just gone anyways. Here's some of the jacket of this one. Uh, 50 volts... There's really just not enough left of these cap jackets to even tell what they were. Maybe the one that's still in there. Yeah, so I'd have to... I don't know. I don't think it's worth it to rebuild it. It depends whether I can find a replacement. But, anyway, so here's the uh, test mode. <clears throat> and you'll see here's the actual back of the motor. you see one of the brushes is missing. I'm just using this to clip in easily to this little 12 volt uh, I don't know if you I don't even know if it's 12 volts it's out of a printer that I took apart so but I'm just gonna go into the output test here in the settings and the vibration is on now you'll see see the electric motor is actually vibrating just because it's just hanging there so um, this motor is not powerful enough to I don't think it's powerful enough to run the uh, vibration on it it might I'll give it a try maybe so yeah so I need to find another motor for this thing if I want the vibration to work. So yeah. Um, also, just a little more information. So I also I picked up these uh, Scott grips. Um, I love these Hurricane grips. I mean, back when I used to ride dirt bikes when I was a teenager, um, these Hurricane grips are the ones I used. So I got some blue ones, just kind of coordinate with a little bit. I mean, the ones on here are black. But well, you can see they're they're in real rough shape. So, and uh, I don't care if they look original or not. I, I like these grips. They they're very comfortable and they're blue. Um, and also the uh, graphics glitches that were on this game are gone now. Um, if we go out of here, let me just. Uh, all right. I don't have a start button right now because I have the assembly off. It's just, just <laughs> we'll have to wait the four seconds.
the road is not glitching anymore. Can't hit the turbo right now. I might as well hit something. And the motor's running. Okay, so... Yeah, and the reason I started working again is the, uh, the deoxid that I used on the uh, board. Um, since it's not the... Uh, See here, um, this stuff right here, the Radio Shack brand um, lubricant spray. Um, since it's not pure, it takes a while for sometimes for it to get everything in there. But it seems to have fixed all the uh, chip issues that I was having. Um, let's go to the memory text. Uh, uh. So everything's working fine. I didn't have to replace any ROM chips or anything like that. It just uh, took a little while for the deox to actually get in there and get everything working fine. So yeah, everything's working good on this. And I'm happy about that. And fixing the uh, the vibration motor is something I would like to get done. Um, not a high priority, but it's uh, it'd be cool to have vibration back on this thing. So all right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll have another video for you.